Roots have got to go. As we can see, it has got to that time. Again. Gloves, 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 gotta have my gloves. I don't even care that I'm in my pajamas. But yeah, this will keep going off because my memory card is really poor, but I'm just giving my hair a little brush. Sorry, I'm not wearing much makeup. Time to section this bad boy out. Finally, so it dropped my Canon 60D while I was trying to record dyeing my hair. So I've got a few clips on that, and then the rest are on here. Oh well, oh well, I tried. I'll have to sort my setup up a bit more before I record me doing my hair one step at a time. I'm working with blonde roots, slightly orangey, and pink hair. Um, I decided to just like do the roots because I want to kind of keep the idea pink or purple until I dye it next. Purple, another purple, and a pink. So I don't know if I should even try and put the colour in different places or if I should just go all over pink again. I haven't got very many options. I have plum directions, suis, I'm just knocking everything all over the place. I've got some leftover special effects deep purple hair dye which is impossible to get hold of these days because it's sold out everywhere and some white conditioner and a tub I see a blurry makeup set up there <laughs> but yeah this is going to be an experiment can you tell that I've used this container already for hair dye isn't it beautiful it's stained <laughs> so I've whacked some conditioner in here probably about three quarters of the actual tub itself Wow, I didn't expect that to go that colour. Whoopsies! I've gone for my own combination between Cerise and Plum. So basically I added a dab of pink and a dab of purple and the rest is literally conditioner. Nice cup of coffee while I continue to dye my hair.